welcome back and thanks for taking the time to join me. Um, I'm going to tell you a wee pattern, just a wee bit of fun. Uh, basically a lock fly and the same colour combinations as the, the Wilkinson shrimp. So the hook in the vase is a Camazon B175 and size 10. The thread I'm going to use is the uni thread 801 red. So I'm just going to come in and get the thread started here, a couple of mil behind the eye of the hook. Just take a bit of a measurement for the first front tackle. Then I'm going to work my thread back to unpass the point and remove the waist tag. The tail, this is glow bright floss number one. Nice bright pink. A couple of turns to catch that in. We'll come in and trim away the excess. And we'll trim the tail the length that you like. Take another couple of turns just to tighten up. The rib of the fly is going to be a blue ultra wire. Now you can just use silver wire, you don't have to use blue ultra wire. Just going to catch that in on my side and then just advance our thread forward. Don't get too hung up if this floss turns on me. I just want to create a nice sort of a level body. Don't want any lumps and bumps. Just do your best. Nice and tight, and then just work our thread back down. The body itself is going to be a large holographic silver tinsel. <coughs> just to get the length of that off. And we'll just run our thread forward ten on our holographic tinsel. Now you could just use flat tinsel just made or something like that. Then we're just going to come around with our holographic silver. Now I'm just going to have a wee check. See them like the back. I'll be enough of that. Then I'm just going to do overlapping turns of the silver holographic. Now you can put on some super glue before you bring up the holographic tinsel if you wish. I'm just going to trim that away. The body haggle, show you the cape. Going to be a matte grizzle, dyed blue. So, we hackle off here. So, just going to offer this up. Nice tight turns. Come in, trim away the excess. And then we're just going to polymer this down the body, guys. So, I'm just going to take two turns at the top of the body here. And then I'm looking to three turns just down the body. I don't want to cover all the silver. If you like it heavier than that, put on more turns, but I want to keep that silver very prevalent. And I'm just going to come up with four turns of the blue wire. Nice and tight. So it's holding the whole fly together. It's the wire. Then we'll just tighten up into that. Bend and bring away the the wire and then just clip away the tip of your haggle at the back. Just bring our thread back up into position. <coughs> Excuse me, beg your pardon. The next haggle is going to be a magenta. This is just a hand cape. So just take one of those off. Now, depending on how much magenta you want to see in your fly. I'm only going to probably take about a turn and a half of this. We'll see how we get on first. So I'm just going to stroke back the fibers and just do one turn in front of the other. Right. Let's just see here. Just have a wee check. So put another wee half of one in. Let's bring it round to there. I'll follow this around with my thread. Tie it off on top. Come in and trim away the excess. And just tidy up this area here. Right, on the way back up, just open this out a wee bit. Yeah, we're, we're looking to business. On the way back up, I'm going to tie in a bit of flash. Got two on my desk here. I'll use those. And these are just two strands of uh, crystal flash. 
UV. Take a turn, turn to secure, fold the access back, bring your thread back up over the top of the flash. Just trim away the longer pieces now. It's going to come in and check the flash. It's just a wee bit long for me, so I'm just going to trim those away a wee bit. The next haggle, we're going to, this is a lace wing, side blue, but we're looking one of the big haggles here. Again. Fairly longish haggle at this point. So, just stroke back the fibres to reveal the tip. I'll come around with a couple of turns now. That's the tip caught in there. See it here. But for belts and braces, just keeping your thread tight, don't let it go. Fold your tip back and from the eye again, up over the top of the tip and the haggle. Break away the tip. And then we're just going to, two turns of this should be enough. Well, it's just a bit of fun now. We'll, we'll see how it fishes. I'll let you know of the Wilkinson shrimp works. This will work too. Right, just a couple of nice tight turns to catch this in. Just going to check the stem here. Right, the stem's thin enough, so I'm going to fold it back. Take another turn. Whip the, the stem of the hack all back. Now I'm going to try and show you this too. So see the stem? That's it. Right back. So just keeping the pressure on it. Don't let the thread go. Just build your thread up over the stem and you can break it away. Now you can finish at that. But what I'm going to do is I've had this for a long time now. This is a jungle cock cape that I dyed magenta. I have two wee eyes off here. So we're going to put a bit of jungle cock on just to finish it off. There wasn't the best cape in the world. That wee jungle cock cape. That's why I just sort of iced it in and put a wee bit of a magenta dye into it. Now I'm just going to hold them on the sides here. Take a couple of turns just to see what way we're what way we're sitting. In two lengths. Now, this wee one here just needs to come up a wee bit. Just have another wee check. Okay, I'm happy enough with that. So I'm just going to hold the eyes. Take another two turns just to tighten everything up. Then just fold your stems back and then just build up your head. Now don't be shy with the head. You want it to be nice and bright. That's why I'm using the red thread as well. Oh, keeping your thread tight. Break away the stems of the jungle cut. Come in with your whip finishing tool. Throw in a whip finish. Pull your thread nice and tight, trim away your tail thread. Now, there you go. So, just get a wee drop of super glue onto the head. Don't want this going anywhere else. And we'll say this in every video we'll do, but geez, it would just ruin everything. But it is a good way to finish a fly. And then just add in some varnish over the top of that. But there you go guys, just a wee bit of fun. So a wee Wilkinson, or a wee dog fly tied in the, the same colours as the Wilkinson. So I think that might even work for the Dalgan, you know. Um, that might work for sea trout and the locks. So look, tie a few of those up. Hopefully they can catch you a few fish. As always, many thanks for taking the time to view the video. I really appreciate it. Um, if you like the wee videos that I'm putting together, and you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing helps the wee channel out and helps it grow. And until next time folks, please stay safe and take lines.